We've all grown up drinking our favorite powdered health drinks. But what if I tell you that what all we've consumed for so many months and years together is empty sugar? Why are we having this conversation right now? A few days ago, a video that was calling out a particular so-called health drink, extremely popular in India and mostly popular amongst children in India, went viral. But that video was brought down because the company that in fact manufactures this particular product sued the health influencer. But the conversation has gone beyond whether that product was good or not. What really isn't good is added sugar. And added sugar is found in most powdered drinks that you are consuming today. Yes, people have a genuine concern about the claims made by the companies which are marketing gimmicks, mostly projected unhealthy food products as healthy. Our drinks that claim to provide nutrition to kids really healthy. That's what this product claimed. Several companies produce health supplements for kids across India and promote it aggressively. Many of these are blindly trusted by parents. They think this product might just be the perfect thing for their child. The packaging details on these products claim that they enhance muscle growth. Experts say this. These are simply uh, flavor powder. That's about it, which makes, uh, which adds flavor to your milk, and it makes the milk palatable for kids who don't like uh, plain glass of milk. Several other claims are made that children become taller, for example. Doctors are now flagging these products off. It's not just the sugar, but the uh, processing of the foods in the industry, the industrial formulations are so bad in terms of leading to diabetes, if you increase 10% of the consumption of ultra-processed foods, the diabetes incidence that goes up by 15%. Does it really mean that it's time to stop these drinks altogether? The need of the hour is to start paying attention to the ingredients used to make these health drinks before consuming them blindly and before blindly thinking that they're going to make your child taller or healthier. What's really wrong with most of these products is that they have added sugars and the packaging and the labeling does not say so. The labeling of this product is often misleading. Alternative names of sugars are found in these products and that is something that must be called out. Awareness is required. We have to know how to read labels. Let me give you an example of a couple of names for sugars, alternative names for sugars that could be found in any of these products but may or may not be easily identifiable. Agave nectar, evaporated cane juice, malt syrup, fructose, sucrose, maple syrup, cane crystals are all added sugars. They're just fancier names. If you really want your child to enjoy the glass of milk, you should be looking for alternatives which are healthier and are surely healthier. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.